In this tutorial, I want to show you how to do uh, some basic audio filters uh, on the clips. So there's a couple things that you can do. First of all, if I, if I just click on this clip, and then inside of my inspector window, if it's not open, just click on this little box here. That will open up the inspector window. And then you go to audio here. Uh, and I don't, I'm going to actually delete this one because we're going to put it on again later. But there's an option here under audio enhancements that uh, there's an audio analysis section. So I can click on this little button here and I can actually make it louder and I can also remove some background noise. So we're gonna listen to this clip. Here you can take advanced commercial photography. Okay, let's listen to this again. Here you can take advanced commercial photography. So we've got some hiss in the background. I'm actually gonna take this off. So you, sound, you heard what it sounded like then. Here you can take advanced commercial photography. So it's got, it sounds, you know, okay, but it's a little bit soft. So I might click on this loudness option and I'm going to. Here you can take advanced commercial photography. So, and I can play around with these settings. So if I want. Here you can take everything to be really loud. Well, okay, well, that doesn't sound so good. So. Here you can take advanced commercial photography. So I can just sort of play around with some of the settings here. Here you can take advanced commercial photography. And that sounds okay, and maybe I make this a little bit louder. I can click and drag the audio level up. But I can also try and remove some of the background noise by just checking that little box. Here you can take advanced commercial photography. So it gets rid just of a little bit of that, that hum and hiss in the background. I can also, here in my filters area, if I go under audio. Okay, I'm gonna go to levels. There's something called a compressor. I'm not going to go into it right now, but that will help boost your levels up. And then under EQ, there's something called remove high frequencies that I can drag on. Well, I'm going to I'm going to drag on a, a slightly different one. I'm going to scroll down. So again, I'm in EQ. I scroll down to logic and I'm going to grab channel EQ and drag that on top of here. So this is just some audio stuff that I'm going to play with. So under channel EQ, so again, I'm in the audio area here. I have channel EQ and I click this little tiny thing right here and it brings up this box. This is my equalizer settings. Each of these are frequencies or pitches of, of my, or of the sound in the here clip. you can take advanced commercial photography. The mid-tones tend to be uh, vocal tones. So notice what happens when I... Here you can take advanced commercial photography. Right. Here you can take advanced commercial photography. So then I can start to manipulate it. If you click and drag on the point, that makes it either more pronounced or like more gradual. Okay, a steeper or more gradual incline there. And if you click and drag inside of that green area, I can then move it um, up or down. So if I come over here to my high frequencies and bring those way down, here you can take advanced commercial photography. I get rid of almost all of my high that hiss sound that I had here before. Here you can take advanced commercial photography. But then I might need to try and emphasize uh, some other parts of the voice. I don't know. I'm just playing. Here you can take advanced commercial photography. Okay, so it sounds a little more crisp, but it also sounds a little more unnatural. So you can play around with some of these different settings here. Um, I'm not going to go into this too much, but there are some options to sort of play with your audio there. So that is audio filters. There are a bunch of other ones that you can play with, um, but that's all I'm going to say on this one.